La Déesse, Citroën's goddess. Launched in 1955 at the Paris Motor Show, this car caused a furor. Within the first day of the exhibition, 12,000 sales agreements were signed. The Déesse seemed almost unreal at the time. It was the first passenger car ever to have disc brakes and hydropneumatic suspension. The ride comfort is phenomenal, even by today's standards. The Déesse was also successful in sport. In 1959, the French won the European Rally Championship. Two years later, they achieved a triple victory in the Liège Marathon. In 1966, Finland's Pauli Toivainen won the Monte Carlo Rally. In a Déesse, passengers experience very little of the road condition because the car seems to float over the bumps. You could drink a cup of tea as easily as on your grandma's floral sofa. For our trip, an estate and a cabrio were available. Both cars are very rare in this condition. The owner of the cabriolet is Dirk Sassen from Dusseldorf. Eleven years ago, he made his hobby his career and is today one of the most competent Deer specialists. This is a rare DS Cabriolet built in 1968, and the D model was only built 1300 times in this version. As a result, those parts are difficult to find, but it must have recently moved into the 45 to the 65,000 euro bracket. There are also very good replicas, which are somewhat cheaper, but to get hold of an original Cabrio is very difficult. The original cabriolets were built from 1960 to 1969. The ultra-long wheelbase of 3 meters 12 is identical in all D models. The dainty, chrome-decorated rear seems almost timeless. By cabrio standards, the boot is enormous. You sink into the soft leather seats almost just by looking at them. Up to 1969, the dashboard still proudly carried the car's color. Here, even the gear operation is hydraulic. There's no clutch pedal. Power is provided by a 2.3-litre four-cylinder inline engine with carburetors and 110 horsepower. At the time, an estate was a utilitarian working animal. Many DS brakes came to an early end because of this. Nowadays, the estate is rarely seen and is at least as lovely as the saloon. The permanent roof rack comes as standard. Like the other D models, the gauge is 20 centimeters narrower at the back than at the front. Behind the two-part boot lid, the loading space can be increased to 2 meters 10 long and has a capacity of 700 kilos. From 1969, the dashboard held three dials. The five gears were changed manually on the steering wheel. Here, too, the power is provided by the 110 horsepower engine. Scene change, Dirk Sassen's DS workshop in Dusseldorf. He has many spare parts and lots of experience. Unfortunately, the outside appearance of a Citroën DS doesn't allow you to draw any conclusions about the state of the chassis inside. That means that a DS which looks good can be rusted through in the chassis because these weak points are difficult to detect. The boot space is unfortunately often a damp habitat, and for this reason, D models rust particularly badly in the back, and this is something very difficult to see. The suspended area between the boot and the bottom of the tank is also treacherous. Things that should be definitely checked are the B pillar, which is often no longer in place, and the jacking point, the A pillar support at the front. You should also strip the roof ceiling so that water doesn't continue to get into the lower chassis. In the underbody area, the sensitive points are the spring cylinder seating at the back, the floor of the boot, 
the border between the base of the boot and the bottom of the tank, and of course the side members which are often rusted through, because the hydraulic units, engine and gear system generally sweat in the Citroen D models, the front area can be disregarded from a rust point of view. Regardless whether it's a saloon, cabriolet or brake, a Citroen DS remains something for individualists. Extreme clearance and loud wind noise from 160 kilometers per hour are minor matters for true fans. What counts is the divine look and a driving feeling as if the car was a litter. A well-restored DS is completely suitable for everyday use and replacement parts are not really expensive. Once you know how the hydraulic pneumatic suspension works, you quickly lose your prejudices against this brilliant concept. Our producer, Tim Schrick's DS brake consumes 9 to 11 liters per 100 kilometers, and one can manage 170 kilometers per hour without problems. And so listen up, Citroen. Please build us another 5-meter saloon, which significantly beats the competition. And, oh yes, don't forget an 8-seater estate version and a Cabriolet 2 